guys, welcome to another vlog. It has been, again, quite a busy week here at um, headquarters, <laughs> aka my home studio. Um, yeah, so I've got a lot of different kind of things I'm trying to manage at the moment. On Sunday, I've got to lead a fair trade service at our church. So I'm just doing a little bit of research on fair trade. I'm going to be interviewing a guy who is a supporter of fair trade. I've also got to work out what questions I'm going to ask the guy and um, yeah, I guess kind of unpack it a bit more so people can understand what this fair trade stuff is all about. So that's what I'm doing at the moment, just a little bit of research into that. I mean, all it is, is that the farmers and the workers actually get a fair deal for what they're doing. It'd be great if we could actually use just barely tea traded tea and coffee, it'd make quite a big difference. I guess little changes actually make the bigger changes in, in lives, don't they? So, if we can change just something small, like what tea we drink, actually it will have a bigger impact over time and um, yeah we might not know who we're affecting but actually little by little isn't it that we actually see change and we can transform people. Food for thought guys, food for thought. So also this week I've been working on a map of Port Vlevin. I actually started this before Christmas um, but we're now almost in the final stages and involved yesterday me walking around Port Vlevin trying to locate all of the dog poo bins. Thankfully it wasn't raining although we have had a lot of windy weather recently. I know we had another storm blow in recently as well and it was funny because the Telegraph featured um, Paul Flevin on one of their stories with the waves coming in and the wind and it was quite funny when we saw it because it was like oh, they're making it out to be you know really massive and yeah because really it is windy most days here and um, you tend to just get used to it. But yeah, when we when I was uh, walking around trying to find the dog bins yesterday, there was a really beautiful sunset and managed to capture that, which was quite rewarding. Yeah, so the Paul Flemmer map will, should almost be done and that's gonna go into actually a brochure called Discover Paul Flevin lets people know what's going on. So Paul Flevin welcomes loads of tourists over the year and it will probably peak during the summer season. Um, they also have a food festival that happens in April every year and the town just gets thousands and thousands of people coming through and visiting and uh, staying in the area. A lot of the houses are actually holiday lets and so during this winter season it can seem quite quiet because a lot of the houses are obviously not being used and there's also you know people who buy second homes here as well in a way it's a bit of a shame that there is so many occupancies which aren't being lived in year round because it means that the community kind of um, diminishes a bit. Tourism does attract a lot of people every year. So this is the map which will go in to discover Paul Flevin and hopefully will be used by people coming here on holiday and they would hopefully discover everything that Paul Flevin has to offer and I hope that it will make sense as well to people. Uh, got this doodah last week. It is a H5 Zoom um, recorder, voice recorder. Um, it has got a number of different inputs, so you can put extra mics on, but 
At the moment I'm just using these bits here that are already part of it, although this can also be taken off. But it is going to be used for my voiceovers when I do my workshops and um, well, also when I go out and about, I can record people. You can really tell the difference though already between this and what I have been using, which is this one. This is my blue mic, which um, is now quite old. So, but the difference in quality between the recording is quite apparent. You know, I haven't got that kind of tinny feel and you can, um, definitely with Zoom, you can you can control the sound a lot better. And another plan for getting this as well is to encourage my husband to do some voiceovers. Hopefully, I can encourage him to do that, and um, he will enjoy doing it. Just want to show you some of the accessories that came with it, though, as well, which are quite funny. We have this thing, which would pop over here. So I guess it's like a big mic <laughs> and then I've got a wind one <laughs> which I just found quite hilarious this one so this will go over the top say if I'm outside and it's really windy which it will be here I can pop that over the top and that will protect it from all of the wind noise that I usually get if I'm using my mobile phone and you know, if I'm trying to record something and I want the sound still to be there, then actually using this alongside um, my camera will, yeah, will be very helpful. <laughs> I am also ordering myself some new business cards. I haven't actually um, done business cards for about a year or so and I think it's just a great time to be able to do it and especially as Moo have a 25% um, sale on right now across their whole range of products and the thing about Moo is I love the fact that you can um, print you know, a number of different designs on the back of each business card so I'll just show you what I am uploading. So this is going to be on all of the business cards and it's got my name, my logo, my um, services, brief services and then my email and website as well as my Instagram handle because that's probably where I do most of my posting. You can add up to 50 designs um, here so I am basically doing kind of crops of my maps and you'll see that I've got about 15 designs. So the first lot of maps and then some people and then I'm moving to food then oh, and some lettering. I will probably use them in different ways like I there have been a few occasions where I've actually probably needed a business card and I would have liked to give one out so it'll be situations like that where I'm out and about and maybe meet people who might be interested in my work but also that I want to send products that I might have made I'll include a business card but also if I want to get in contact and want to send a proper snail mail promotional thing then actually including a business card in that would be really useful um, so there are lots of uses for business cards you know I used to think well I could just email people but actually I quite like having a printed um, piece of illustration in front of me because it means that they've actually got a sample of your work and it's actually printed in front of them so that's one of the main reasons that I'm going to be doing it, as well as the 25% off. I've also got some paper samples for the Paul Fleming sketchbook that I'm working on. And so here they are. 
So the company that I kind of ordered them from is called XYZ and they've sent me all these lovely paper samples to have a look at including a little booklet although my book won't look anything like this one but um, yeah I really like the these samples here this is like an uncoated paper 170 grams that would be nice as an internal page I think they've got a thinner one as well and then this is slightly thicker but I like it because it's um, matte and um, these are 100% recycled, so that's quite cool. But it's quite good actually what they've sent me, because it really helps you work out what you like. Yeah, so that's really cool. Um, I have been working on my book, like I said, but at the moment it is a little bit, taking a little bit longer. Um, I'm doing still more research on the buildings that I've drawn already. Um, actually, I found an online document which actually talks about all of the listed buildings in Port Levin. So I've been kind of like just trawling through all of this stuff and um, it is really interesting, but it also means that it just takes a bit longer to kind of digest all the information and, you know, work out whether I need to add that to the book. Um, yeah, so I'll keep you up to date with that guys. So guys, I hope you're well and keeping well and you've been enjoying this week. Let me know what you've been up to in the comments below and I will speak to you again soon. Alright, bye!